Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and guys today I want to show you how to make a play stop uh, action script in uh, Flash Pro CS55. Before I actually explain how this was done let me show you a preview by hitting control enter to test the movie. Here goes control enter on the keyboard guys. Okay, so the initial state is the play button. The moment I click that, as you can actually see that uh, it stops the sound it's not a play pause uh, toggle functionality it's a play stop toggle functionality guys and once the sound actually comes to an end you can see the play button once again so that you can reinitiate playing the song right so guys let me teach you how this was actually done uh, right now the library tab is selected guys and you can see that we have a few uh, assets out here obviously we need to have a song or a, or a piece of music and uh, guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna destroy everything on the stage right I'm gonna go to the library I'm gonna select everything let me say control A right click and say delete and uh, now the library is also completely empty okay uh, the top layer, let me rename it AS3, contains the action script 3 guys. The bottom layer, let me rename it rename it assets. Okay, will be containing the buttons. Right. Now let's keep the action script the way it is. I'll explain it a little later. Let's reconstruct the stage. Okay. Uh, I'll go to windows first, then I'll go down to common libraries, go to buttons. Okay. Now guys, I'll look for a category which is playback flat. There it is. Alright, let me expand the window just that little bit. And I'll open it up. And then I'll look for this button which is a flat blue play. Let me drop it in the library and flat blue stop. Let me also drop it in the library let me close the uh, library next guys I'm, I'll make sure that the assets layer is selected I'll go to insert I'll go to new symbol I'll say ok and then guys what I'll do is I'll pull up the play button first ok I'll go to the properties pane I'll make sure that the X and Y are set to 0 each right then I'll press F7 to insert a blank keyframe on the timeline go to the library I'll pull out the stop button this time alright and then go to the properties pane and make sure the X and Y are again set to 0 each alright so guys you can see what I've really done is I placed on layer number one inside the symbol the play and the stop buttons right let me go out to the to the you know to scene one which is the stage right now there's nothing on the stage guys I'll make sure the assets is selected I'll go to the library guys and when you see symbol one is actually the play uh, and the stop toggle button okay how can I be sure if I just click this play button out here you can see that it, it shows up the the stop button for just for a moment guys I'm gonna pull it out I'm gonna place it on the stage guys I'm, I'm going to going to the properties pane and then guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the size to 100 alright and then I'll go to the align panel I'll make sure it is centered horizontally as well as vertically making sure that the align to stage is checked on guys cool now I'm sure that the button is exactly in the center of the stage then guys I'm gonna give it an instance name to match the action script so I'm gonna call it toggle underscore btn right and I'm actually done let me hit control enter to test the movie once again okay I need a sound that's something that is missing I'm gonna go to file I'm gonna say import and import to the library first then guys I'm gonna look for the uh, music file 
Okay, there it is. Let me say open and there it is uh, in the library now. Let me expand this panel a little bit and where you see the AS linkage guys in fact before that let me set the compression settings. You see if I were to test the uh, the sound now maybe uh, you know the 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 sound quality is compromised let let me just check if the you know if if uh, good compression settings have been applied so let me go to properties and then uh, you see the compression is default let me go to raw let me change this to 44 let me make sure that it's not getting converted to mono all right and then uh, let me test Yep, that's better. So uh, I don't want the sound quality to be actually compromised a lot. Let me say OK. And then guys, <coughs> I'm sorry. I need to <coughs> beg your pardon. I uh, have an AS linkage. Now AS linkage is a method through which you can actually call the, the sound of the music file inside the action script. Again, it should match whatever is written inside the action script. I'm going to call it my with a capital M sound with a capital S. All right. So this is like uh, giving it an instance name or a label. You see, there, there should be some way uh, via which you can actually reference the sound. Okay, let me go back to the actions panel, guys. And uh, now let me show you the action script. Okay, let me test the movie first, as we technically call it, testing the movie. It's actually a sound. So control enter on the keyboard to test the sound. Hitting the play button. That's a stop. okay so playing to perfection guys let's now understand the script uh, initially guys if you remember the toggle button has had two more buttons inside the play button and the stop buttons I don't want the player to rush from the play to the stop button hence I am using the stop parent parent method out here I've declared a variable uh, called played which is of the type boolean I'm setting it to false now booleans can either be false or true can be either true or false uh, it cannot acquire any other value right and whenever you you have a toggle functionality it's almost always true that you'll be using a boolean right uh, next uh, what I've done is I've uh, used or declared another variable my sound of the type sound and which I'm making it equal to my sound if you remember guys had done the AS linkage for the sound as my sound and this is uh, referring to the a sound lying in the library right uh, also I've declared another variable my channel of the type sound channel and uh, make made it equal to a new sound channel that is because I'll be playing the sound in the channel I, I need a sound channel to play the sound in hence creating a new instance of the sound channel line number seven uh, is that main button lying on the stage and uh, which I've actually given it an instance name of toggle underscore btn if you actually have a look in the library it has an instance name of toggle underscore btn alright so I've added an event listener to that and if somebody clicks on that button I would want a function called toggle play to be executed let's see exactly what toggle play does now guys um, this code may confuse you uh, just that little bit but it's, it's a it's a different way of writing the FL statements it's a shorthand way of writing the FL statement guys basically whatever I've highlighted means that if the variable played is false uh, we I have used the exclamation mark it means check if the variable played is equal to false if it is please make it true else now this colon is as good as saying else make played the variable played equal to false okay if it is false make it true else make it false right now here are the comments that I've left for you guys uh, line number 11 I'm checking if played is true if it is then play the sound in the channel using the play method else use the your sound mixer or stop all method to stop all the sounds okay line number 12 we check if the variable played is true if it is then uh, in, in in the toggle underscore btn go to and stop on frame number two else else 
uh, go to frame number one and stop inside the toggle underscore btn all right and just in case uh, you know the sound comes to a complete playback it comes to a halt it has you know it has played through i need a function called sound completed to be executed and that function will make the variable played false false and uh, at the same time it will go to and stop on frame number one inside toggle underscore btn all right so it's, it's actually not too big a script guys and it's working to perfection so before i wind this tutorial let me hit control enter to test the movie as we technically call it so control enter i let it play through this time and guys you can actually see uh, that I can reinitiate playing now right so guys I hope you like this tutorial this project is available for uh, download from my website which is http colon forward slash forward slash quality lessons dot net forward slash downloads uh, I'll I hope I'll see you very soon with yet another tutorial you have a very good day guys bye bye peace